I'm trying to look back at the experiences I had with software patents uh, way back around 2005. Um, I personally am a POM user. I still am a POM, POM OS user in my PDA. I, I just found it very irreplaceable for all sorts of reasons, uh, especially the external keyboard. And one of the things I used to do at the time uh, was to use the graffiti strokes. Now, for those who don't know, uh, graffiti is a sort of uh, sort of language, a sort of a method of putting data onto the device uh, with means of inputs that are basically a stylus, a sort of a pen, uh, and jotting on the screen, a touch sensitive screen, uh, to form lines, to form vectors, trajectories, whatever, trajectories in 2D, I suppose, to uh, give some input that represents a, uh, a shape corresponding to a digit or a character, maybe a symbol or a space. So, here we have this company called Palm, which was uh, pretty innovative with the with their devices, the Palm Pilot. I have a, I still have a Palm Tungsten, which I use daily, uh, and they were sued by Xerox. Uh, Xerox was looking to uh, get some profits out of the fact that Palm basically was implementing this uh, uh, in software, implementing this idea of trying to take the input from the screen and convert it into a an actual letter, an actual character usually in some, some cases digits and actually trying to determine which one of them it is uh, based on the area on the screen you tap on. Uh, so this, uh, yeah, so in the next, in the next part I, I'll try, I intend to try and explain what happened there and how it uh, personally affected me as a, uh, as a user and some people will say consumer, I prefer not to say consumer because of the association of being very uh, passive about it. So anyway, that's that for now.